time is it? <gasps> it's Grandma Story Time and you're here. I'm so glad you've come. Oh, I have a great story for us to read today. Can you read the title with me? Can you read that? More, more, more. Oh, I wonder what that means. More, more, more. <laughs> well, let's find out. All right. Look at there. There's two little girls. Hmm. I wonder what those two little girls have to do with the story. Oh, here's our first little girl. Look at her. Wow, she's got a lot of dolls. Woo! I would have liked to have that many dolls when I was a little girl. Well, come to think of it, I might have actually had pretty close to that many dolls when I was a little girl. Miss Pris, Prissy Miss had everything a girl could ask for. Dolls and toys and lots of love. But Prissy wanted more. Hmm. Let's see, what's this? Look at, she doesn't look very happy, does she? She's got all those toys and she's got parents who love her and look at her face. Can you make that face? See if you can make that face. I, I can't make it. <laughs> I can't make it. Can you make it? Maybe I can make it. I guess her lips are kind of like, all right, down, you gotta get your lips down like this. Yeah, she ain't happy. She is not a happy girl. And look at there. Oh, she's making her parents sad. To just throw her doll down. Hmm. Wonder what's wrong. <sighs> look at here. Look at here. There she is. She has this beautiful dollhouse and she's just like, Not really too interested in it, is she? Hmm. Each day she craved a new doll, till that too became a bore. Then she whined, there's nothing to do. Still, she wanted more. Hmm. I see. Have you ever felt like that? That none of your toys were very interesting anymore? What about like right after you get a bunch of toys, like for your birthday or Christmas, or even if you just get one toy, does it stay as exciting as it was when you first got it? All right, oh, look at her room. Oh my goodness, what a beautiful room. Oh, oh, I would love to have a room like that. Look at that, so beautiful. Her bedroom was pink and frilly from ceiling to floor. Closets and dressers were filled with clothes, but Prissy always wanted more. Can you say more? More. She always wanted more. Mm. Wow, she wasn't happy with what she had. Look at there. Look at, oh, she even gets to go. I loved to go swimming when I was a little girl. She's, looks like she might even have her own pool. Oh. Selfish, spoiled, and bratty. Temper tantrums on the floor. Now, have you ever thrown a temper tantrum? Be honest. What is a temper tantrum? Ah. <laughs> yeah. Just, I want this and I want that. Prissy always wanted, you know the word? Say it with me, more. She always wanted more. Yeah. All right, now there's Prissy. And look at this girl. What does this girl have? Does she have a bunch of toys? Beautiful home, fancy bedroom. Doesn't look like she does, does it? Hmm. One day Prissy happened to meet a little girl so poor, the only clothes she had in the world were the very ones she wore. Hmm, think about that. What if you only had the clothes you were wearing right now and you didn't have any other clothes? No jammies for bedtime. Maybe no warm coat when it gets warm, when it gets cold and you need to stay warm. Maybe no bathing suit, no robe, just the clothes you're wearing now. How would you feel? Beneath her dress, worn and shabby, beat a little heart so pure. Although she owned but one broken doll, 
she would never ask for more. Look at her. Look at her face. Aww. Aww. Look at her clothes aren't very nice. She doesn't even have any shoes. But under all those clothes inside her, she has a heart that's pure. And she's content. And she's not even asking for more. Even though she doesn't hardly have anything. So here the two girls are and they meet. They're about the same age. Eager for a friend with whom to share and explore, the little girl called Prissy, fearing she would see her no more. The little girl called to Prissy, fearing she would see her no more. Won't you come and play with me? The little girl implored. I would, said Prissy, but there are no toys. There would be nothing to do for sure. What do you think about that? Could you figure out how to play if you didn't have any toys? I could. <laughs> or if I had a few toys, you can make up things. You can find things to make to play with. Have you ever thought about that? The little girl smiled. Oh, look at this. The little girl smiled and said, come with me and took Prissy on a tour. Of all the castles and fairy tale places that lived in her heart galore. So if you use your imagination, you can have better stuff than even the toys that toy makers can make. Look at that. Look at that castle. That's her imagination made that castle for them to play in. That's even better than Prissy's beautiful room. When you make believe... See, there she is. When you make believe, you can be anything, spoke the little girl so poor. I can go anywhere and do anything when I step through the magic door. Ah. Sometimes if you don't have as many things, you have to use your imagination more and you become more creative. Sometimes I'm a beautiful queen. See, in her imagination... She is ready for a coronation. She's becoming queen. My throne is the big dirt floor. Okay, so when she sees the dirt floor, she can make it her throne. In her imagination, it becomes divine. Or I can be a circus lion. Just listen to my roar. <laughs> can you roar? Let's try it. Ready? One, two, three. Roar! <laughs> Sometimes I'm a brave soldier. Ah, look at that. Returning from the war. And then over here. Other times I pretend I have my very own ice cream store. Look at that. Oh. You ever use your imagination, huh? Do you use imagination? All right, look at this. Look at that. That's the little girl, and that looks to be her siblings, huh? My ma and pa would buy me things, but we, but we really are too poor. We need food much more than toys. Of this, I'm very sure. So see, there's two other children, huh? Two other children. Her brother, and I don't know if this is a brother or sister. Oh. Look at her cupboards. Are they full of toys? Are they full of food? They're not full of anything. They really are poor. You mean, this is Prissy talking, you mean, you mean you're happy without any toys or games or clothes or, or. <laughs> She's just flabbergasted like, I mean, there are more important things, says the poor girl. I like being hugged and loved and cared for. Mm, there's her family. Do you know that it's much more important to be hugged and loved and cared for than to have a lot of expensive toys? Prissy actually had both. 
didn't she? She had parents who loved her and expensive toys, but she wasn't grateful. She wasn't, she wasn't thankful. I help my family. This is the poor girl talking. I help my family and they help me. I help with all the chores. And I got a rabbit there, huh? My ma and pa are my very best friends. When it comes to love, I'm not poor. So she's rich in love, isn't she? She might not have a lot of stuff, but she's got love. Yeah, that really cozy, nice assurance that her parents love her. So there's the two girls hugging. Prissy hugged her friend goodbye with a lesson she couldn't ignore. I just wanted to see him hugging again. Oh, I've always had everything, but I didn't appreciate it before. She ran home to her mother and dad and threw open the big door. See, there's her big doorway. She opened it. I'm such a lucky little girl and I love you even more. She told them of her newfound friend. Then solemnly she swore. Look at that. She's hugging them. Aww. Solemnly she swore that she would share her many blessings and count them evermore. So she's going to share some of her. I bet she's going to share some of her clothes. The girls were about the same size, weren't they? And I bet she's going to share some of her dolls. And she'll feel so much happier inside to have, to be sharing. And the things that she has, she'll appreciate. Aww, she's, she did share, look at that. She gave her some jammies and she invited her over to have a sleepover and now they're best friends. 